All right. Mary Catherine Ham from uh, Hot Air is with us on the program. Mary Catherine, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you? I am excellent. I appreciate uh, you joining us on the program. Uh, I should, uh, if you'll hang on one second here, I'm just going to step away from the microphone so I can remove this book behind me and uh, reveal end of discussion uh, your <laughs> book with uh, Guy Benson. We had Guy on the program not long after the uh, book came out, but it's good talking with you. And it is a, uh, it's a great book, by the way. I really have to say it's fantastic. Well, thank you very much. I always appreciate a plug. <laughs> uh, and listen, it's uh, still available, uh, you know, and there's still time for uh, maybe some summer reading, uh, and it's Indeed. great for fall reading as well. <laughs> In fact, I think this is this is sort of a, a timeless subject. Hopefully one day this book will be incredibly dated, Mary Catherine, and this era uh, that you and Guy talk about will be something that uh, we'll laugh about. Ha, 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 remember when you couldn't say what was on your mind? Uh, but unfortunately, we, we I don't think we've hit rock bottom yet. Yeah, one would hope that it becomes dated, but we said all over the book tour when we were doing a discussion that it was the news cycle is paradoxically paradoxically great for our book and terrible for America. So we we shall see what happens, but I'm not confident where we've run its course yet. Yeah, now speaking of the uh, the news cycle, uh, you write about this at Hot Air, wondering why has this White House aide who was charged with grabbing her uh, a police officer boyfriend's gun and shooting at him. Why has the story not become a national story? In fact, I mean, you point out it really yeah. wasn't even a big local story in Washington, right. D.C. Curious, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so this is a special assistant to the president and a house liaison inside the White House uh, who makes $125,000 a year, which makes her one of the higher paid people in the White House. This is not some peon. This is not an intern. This is someone who is rather high up. And the special assistant to the president's title is a pretty serious one. Uh, this woman, Barvetta Singletary is her name, got into a domestic dispute with her boyfriend, who she thought was cheating on her, lured him to his, her house, uh, got in an argument with him about cell phone text messages, took his service weapon, allegedly, from him, uh, and shot, uh, fired off one round in his direction. Luckily, he was uninjured and fled and was able to call help. Um, this got almost no coverage. This is a pretty high-level White House staffer in a pretty anti-gun White House engaging in gun violence, allegedly. And we hear almost nothing about it. Local news did cover it the day it happened and the day after it happened. Jake Tapper covered it a bit. He saw the occasional uh, you know, CNN.com write-up in the days after it happened. But it's been a week now, and we've heard nothing more about this story. No questions for the White House about, like, hey, how often was this person near the president? Hey, uh, should there have been a background check that maybe would have caught something on her? Hey, how does the president feel about a member of his staff and, uh, and you know, close working relationship uh, having been involved in gun violence that he so abhors? None of that is asked of the president. It just strikes me as a little odd. I feel like we would have heard more about it had it been, say, a Republican White House. You know, and and you say as well, you point out um, a, another name that, that actually did reach national consciousness, at least for 48 hours or so. Right. Uh, when the uh, online outrage mob uh, went after Elizabeth Lawton, who yeah. uh, on her private Facebook page, and she was a, uh, a, a, uh, a Republican staffer, right? Yes, a communications staffer in the House, I believe. Okay. Um, maybe she met. Uh, the the Obama administration liaison to the House at some point in time, <laughs> uh, Barvetta Singletary. Oh. Who knows? It, it's a it's a small world there in D.C. But regardless, Elizabeth Lawton, on her her personal Facebook page, uh, had uh, commented on uh, the the Obama daughters. Right? It said that right. uh, they were uh, not acting. I, I can't remember the specifics. Not acting as ladylike as they should. Not not showing yeah, as much respect. Yeah, critical of them and a little bit about their dress at the uh, at the turkey pardoning. Um, and like, it's not, it's not something I would have written in, in public, but it wasn't like crazy outlandish. It was in, it was on her private pa Facebook page. Uh, and because she was critical of the Obama daughters, this is a staffer in the house, not a high ranking, uh, white house aide. Uh, <laughs> she was a national news story for at least several days. There were news vans parked outside her parents' home in North Carolina. Uh, there were major media outlets digging up dirt on her, like, sort of her teenage, uh, like, juvenile record. Apparently there were some offenses that the Washington Post dug up. 
all because this woman had said something mildly critical about the Obama daughters. And now we've got a White House staffer having allegedly shot her Capitol Hill, shot at her Capitol Hill police boyfriend with his own service weapon. She's been suspended. He's been suspended as well, uh, pending investigation. And, like, zero interest in that story. But it's, it's interesting to me how the outrage mob chooses which things to be mad about. And often uh, they do not affect our friends on the left. Uh, no, quite often uh, they, they do not. And, and, you know, we haven't seen uh, ABC and NBC stake out uh, the, the parents' of uh, Miss Singletary, right, or, or delve into her background. And right. you say, they've completely ignored the story. Uh, there was no yes. mention of this whatsoever. Uh, the, yes. the, the outrage machine uh, itself uh, has not been fired up about this. Um, you know, the, the, in, the, in the context perhaps even of, uh, well, look, here's another reason to take guns away from police officers, Mary Catherine. Right. I mean, you haven't seen, <laughs> right? I mean. Yeah, you, you, no, I mean, the, the gun control crowd could surely find a thread here and yet has managed not to uh, because this is an ally of theirs. And by the way, some people said, you know, with the Elizabeth Lawton story, it was a news wall. It was like around Thanksgiving. There wasn't a lot going on. So that was part of the reason she got so much coverage. Still not an excuse for it because it was not a national news story, but that was part of the reason. Uh, people say, oh, well, this is different because, you know, different news cycle. It's August, okay? I realize that we've decided to fill all of our news feeds with Trump and nothing but Trump, but it's August. There's room for a national news story about a White House staffer that allegedly assaults a federal police officer with his own service weapon. Like, that is a news story. But listen, this this administration has been so scandal-free, Mary Catherine. I mean, why would you want to ruin that oh, streak? Oh, completely. <laughs> And like it's not even it's not even as if this has to be the top story in the nation. It's just that the double standard is so incredibly obvious when you've got a woman who became a national news story and was on the nightly newscasts for several minutes over several days, which is a lot when you're talking about the national newscasts who only have thirty minutes each, uh, for putting the wrong thing on her Facebook page. But this person given a total pass. And the reason is because she's in the Obama White House. Well, uh, even yesterday, think about the reaction uh, to the first transgender staffer at the White House being announced. Oh, yeah. Compared That's to the right. news of the first White House staffer being arrested for stealing her boyfriend's gun and shooting at him. Right, right. Those uh, given quite different weight in the news cycle. That's a perfect example. Um, and by the way, it, like, should a staffer that the, that the press has formerly lauded become guilty of something later, don't be looking for coverage on that either, because that's just even more embarrassing. <laughs> they, uh, yeah, they sort of get the, uh, are, we, are, you, are we up to the Stalin-esque airbrushing where, you know, the photos just subtly change via Photoshop oh, and the I mean, staffers get a, wiped away? That's something, we, that's something we write about and into discussion is like, these things go down the memory hole if they're not fit for consumption. Uh, we have lost as a society our ability to say like, oh, this uh, this thing happened, and maybe you don't agree with it, but it's going to exist in our world. Uh, Confederate flag comes to mind, like it's a part of history that exists, and uh, people decide that they cannot countenance looking upon it. We used to be a little bit more grown up than this, but it is uh, sadly, sadly becoming not that way anymore. Listen, they're they're getting rid of the uh, Jefferson Jackson dinners in the Democratic Party. I mean, they can't even countenance the idea of the author of our Declaration of Independence. Yeah. Or right. the founder of their party, the literal founder of their party. And Andrew Jackson just can't have it, can't have it. History is not your friend. So, yeah, it's a brave new world. Somebody should write a book about this stuff. Yes, indeed. All right, listen, Mary <laughs> Catherine, it is always a pleasure getting a chance to uh, talk with you. And, uh, you know, I, we, need to, we need to actually have you in studio the next time I'm up there. That would be fun. Well, you know what, Barvetta Singletary has a... Uh, has a hearing in Maryland on September 2nd. So I'll try to stay up on that uh, since no one else is. And uh, maybe we'll see our friends in the national press visit her at this uh, Maryland hearing, but I somewhat doubt it. I, uh, I doubt it as well. Maybe you could uh, just send them an email a day or two beforehand, let them know that the yeah, uh, hearing is coming up. up. Guys. Right. Yeah, I don't think it's going to, I don't think it's going to be in the AP planner for DC. No, so probably not. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Mary Catherine. We'll talk again very soon. Thank you. Have a good one.